Hi, Martin here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to go through how you can use stacks when creating your app in Swift Playgrounds. So this video is going to continue on from the app I created in my previous video. Uh, and I'll put a link uh, down below if you haven't followed that one just yet. So let's get started. So firstly, what are stacks? Well, stacks let us give our app a more defined layout and structure. So to do this, we use VStack and HStack. So VStack stands for vertical stack, which arranges elements on top and below each other. And then HStack stands for horizontal stack and arranges elements side by side. So let's start off by wrapping the elements we already have inside a VStack. So to do that, I'm going to stay inside of my body here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, V stack and then I've got my curly brackets here at the end. So I'm just going to take the last one and delete that. And I'm going to add that at the bottom underneath my image here. So one thing I'm also going to do is I'm just going to tab in this information here. So the reason that we do that is essentially to show that these elements are inside of our VStack. So using that, uh, what we call indentation, just makes it clearer that these elements are part of our VStack. So you can see over here on our um, app that nothing has really changed uh, as our elements have kind of already been put on top and underneath each other by default. So um, now that we've added that VStack, uh, VStack what we can actually do uh, is go ahead and format the color of the element uh, and that will let us change the background. So uh, to do that, we're going to add this just underneath uh, our curly bracket here. So the closing one for the V stack. Uh, I'm going to add dot uh, frame and then I'm going to put in max uh, width. I'm going to add uh, infinity. And then I'm going to add uh, max uh, oh, max height, and then that's going to be uh, infinity also. Let's make sure that we uh, spell uh, infinity correctly. Um, so what essentially that will do is just we're saying we want the maximum width and the maximum height. Uh, and we want it to the element that we're going to add now, which is our background color, it will fill the whole app. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, background. And then in here, I'm going to put dot blue. And we can see straight away over here in our preview pane that our app has turned blue. Okay, so now we've got this VStack element, we can say, well, I want the maximum frame, so the maximum height and width of this VStack, and I want to make it blue. So now that we've added that, like I said, we added the VStack, but not much change. So why don't we test out HStack instead? And to do that, we're going to test it out just by simply going to our VStack here at the top. And we're just going to change the V to a H. So you can instantly see that our elements, so our text and our image, are now side by side. So Hopefully you can start to see now we've got VStack to keep things on top or uh, on top of each other or below, and then HStack to have them side by side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change that back to a VStack, and then what we're going to lastly look at is actually combining the two. So we can do this by nesting them inside of each other. So we can actually put a HStack inside of a VStack, and vice versa. So you might have um, your app and you want everything top to bottom, but then on uh, one of those rows, you want to have something side by side. Um, and that's where this comes in. So we're going to go ahead and put a H stack inside of our V stack. So to do that, underneath my image, I'm going to type out H stack. And you can see now that's in there and it's ready to add some elements too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of images. So just remember when we're adding images, and this was in my previous video, that we actually need to add our images into our project over here on the left hand side. Um, so I've created an images folder to keep it all neat and tidy. So if you haven't done that, just remember 
if you um, hold control and then click on the word assets you can add a folder and call it images highly suggest uh, doing that so I'm going to go ahead uh, I've got a folder over here with a couple of images uh, that I want to add so I'm going to add um, in my this phone image here into my images folder and I'm going to go ahead and add the settings icon as well so you can do this with any couple of images this is just to test out our H stack so go ahead and go back up to my content view here I'm going to go and add those couple of images into my H stack so the same way remember we write image um, open up a bracket and some quotation marks and then we write the name of the image over here so I'm going to go for phone and then hopefully if we add our second image here then we can uh, it should appear next to the image we have which you can see it has over here on this pane um, one thing we can do just to make our elements um, perhaps a little bit more spaced out so I can see over here in my preview pane these are quite close to the image I already have so what I'm going to do is go up to this uh, image of the Swift icon and I'm going to just add an extra little bit of formatting and I'm going to go uh, and add what we call uh, padding okay, um, to the bottom of this element um, not a huge amount a little number and you can see it just spaces it out here okay um, which uh, is just really helpful and useful to space out the elements you have so we've now got our all our elements inside of a V stack so you can see we've got our rows here um, but then you can see we've got our H stack which allows us to keep these parts side by side so hopefully you can see how you can use those V stacks and H stacks uh, to lay out the app exactly how you would like. Um, I hope that that has been useful and I'll see you in the next video.